I am using this Super Saver Metallic Red Heart uh, yarn, and this is a number four, level four yarn. And I am going to make this uh, cute little cape. So anyway, that's what I'm using here. And I am going to be chaining 72, 72 chains to start out. And I'll meet you back in a moment. And this is how you start out. One, two, three, and make your 72 chains. Okay, now I've done 72 chains. And... I am using, I meant to tell y'all, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter. It's hard to see, but that's what I'm using. And what we're going to do here is we are going to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four. So do a double crochet into this chain like so and now we're going to do a double crochet into every chain all the way down so this is how you do it you go in double crochet So if y'all don't know how to do this, you put your yarn around the hook, go into this stitch, pull up that loop, and go through this set of two, and now this set of two. And this is what you have. Go around, go through, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two. Okay, now when you get all the way to the end, I will meet you back. So I'm right here and I'm putting in my last double crochet into that last stitch and we are going to chain one, turn your work, and we should have 70 uh, double crochets, okay? So this, this chain one does not count on this next stitch. We're going to do a double crochet into this stitch here. And then we are going to do another double crochet. That's two. Go into the next stitch, three. And then into the next stitch, four. So we have a total of four double crochets. Now we're going to do in this next stitch, two double crochets. One, back in the same stitch, two. So we have four doubles, one, two, three, four, two doubles in this stitch. Now we're going to do another double into the next, another double into the next, another double into the next, and another double into the next. And so here was our two doubles, one, two, three, four, then two into the next stitch, two doubles, double crochets. So now on this second row, we're going to do four double crochets, then two double crochets in the fifth stitch. One, and then one, two, three, four double crochets, and then two into the next stitch. 
as our increase. And we're going to do that all the way across for row two. I'm almost at the end of the row and I've done my two uh, doubles. Now we're going to do one, two, three, and four and then we're going to do one in this last stitch right here a double and we should have 84 double crochets chain one turn turn your work we've chained one Okay, and on row three, we're going to do a double crochet into this very first stitch. And then we're going to do a second double crochet into the next stitch. Do another double crochet into the third stitch another crochet into the fourth stitch another double crochet into the fifth stitch so we've got one two three four five now in this next stitch we're going to do two double crochets and this is our increase into that stitch so now, starting over again, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and then to this next stitch, two double crochets. And that's our increase. So on this row three, it's going to be five doubles, two doubles in one stitch. Five doubles, two doubles in one stitch. And do that all the way across, and I'll meet you back in a moment. We're almost done at the end of the row. So we're on our five. So one, two, three. four and five into this last stitch okay we're going to chain one and now we're going to turn our work and we're starting on row four and on this row we're going to do one double crochet in to each stitch I mean, excuse me, we did one double in this first stitch. Now we're going to do another double crochet. That's two. And what we're going to do on this row is we're going to do a total of six double crochets. So in each stitch, six, we're going to do one double in each six. So we got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to do two doubles in the next stitch. Let me make sure I told y'all right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the seventh stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. And if you look, the V's, the two, line up, kind of, it looks like. But so on this row, we're going to do, in each six stitches, one double crochet, two, three, four, five. 
six. And then in the next one, in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. And we're going to do this all the way across. And I'll meet you back when I get to the end. Okay, on the end of row four, we did six double crochets. One, and then we did two double crochets in the seventh stitch. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five. You're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two doubles on the last stitch. And this is row four, and you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work. And on this row, we're going to do seven double crochets. So in this stitch, you're going to do one double, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then on the eighth one, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay. So two doubles in that one stitch. And then start again. One, two, three, four. six and seven and then in this stitch the next stitch you do eight I mean not excuse me I said that wrong in this next stitch you're going to do two doubles so on this row five we're doing six double crochets and then we're going, I mean, excuse me, we're going to do seven double crochets, and then we're going to go, we're going to do two double crochets in that next stitch, then another seven, and then two doubles in the next stitch. And I'll meet you back as soon as we get all the way across. Thank you. Okay, I've got to the end of the row, and I've ended with two doubles at the end, and you should have 126 stitches. For this row five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to start on row six. On this row, uh, we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to do one double into this stitch and then we're going to do this time eight so this will be two three oh, excuse me I messed up there two three four five, six, seven, and eight. And then we'll do two into the next stitch, two double crochets into this stitch. So on this, on this row, we're going to do a total of eight double crochets in each stitch and then on the ninth stitch we're going to do two doubles so we're going to do eight again one two three four 
back six seven and eight and now two into the next stitch two doubles and we're going to do this across the whole row and I'll meet you back I'm at the end of row six and I'm doing my last uh, to the end here and we should have eight one two three four five six seven eight and then we do a two doubles in the last stitch okay and now we're going to chain one and turn our work and now I guess you figured out on that last row we had 140 stitches so now on this row we chained one and now we're going to do a double in this stitch and I guess you guessed it we're going to do nine double crochets so one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochets one so on this round which is seven one two three four five six seven will be nine double crochets in each stitch and then in the tenth we'll do two double crochets and we're going to do that all the way down and I'll meet you right back okay I'm at the end of row seven and I've ended with two double crochets and now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work and now we're going to do ten go back in this first stitch with a double and in each one of these ten stitches we're going to do ten double crochets and then we're going to keep going get our 10 let's see let me count Four. Okay, we're on our 10th double crochet and then in this next stitch we're going to do two double crochets and we're going to do this all the way to the end so it's going to be in the next 10 stitches 10 double crochets then two in that next stitch after that and we're going to do that all the way across and I'll meet you back when we get to our next row okay I'm at the end of row eight and I've did two double crochets now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn and now we're going to do a double crochet into each stitch and we should have on the last row I meant to say we had a hundred and 68 stitches okay so now we're going to go all the way across with a double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end and when we get to the end I'm going to show you what to do and I'll be right back okay here at the end of row nine 
we're going to do two double crochets at this very last stitch. And we're not going to do any more. This is the last, this is the only two double crochets on this whole row that we did. And so um, now we're going to start on the next row around and we're going to do bobbles. Okay, so I'm starting on row 10 and this is the last of row 9. So I'm going to make a, a single crochet, turn my work. And on this row, we're going to do two single crochets in this first stitch. Okay, and then in the next stitch, one single crochet. Okay, and now on this stitch here, we're going to do a bobble. And the way we do a bobble is we're going to go... Um, we're going to go in, go through two, go around, pick up another loop, go through two, and we're going to do this five times. Three, four, and five. And we should have six loops on our hook and we're going to pull through all of these and then we're going to pull top and go into the next uh, loop and do single crochet do another single crochet in the next stitch and another in the next which makes a total of three so we're going to do that again. We're going to go in the next stitch, go through two loops five times. Two, three, four, five. And we should have six loops on our stitch, on our hook. Pull through all six, go into the next stitch, single crochet, into the next single crochet, into the next single crochet, which makes a total of three. So when you turn it around, you've got your bobbles. So we're going to do this on row 10 all the way to the end. So we're going to do three bobble, three single crochets, bobble, three single crochets, bobble. And we're going to do that all the way to the end, and I'll meet you all back. I'm on the, the last of row 10, and I've got two stitches left. So I'm going to do one single crochet, and then another single crochet. So that makes just two on the end of round 10. And we have 169, let's see, hang on, let me check. Yes, 169 stitches, including the bobbles. Okay, now we're going to chain one. And we're going to turn our work. And we're going to start on row 11, and on this row, we're going to do a double crochet in this first stitch, and then we're going to skip one, and then on the top of the bobble, right here, we're going to do a five double crochet shell. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
and it'll look like this. Okay, and then we're going to skip one stitch and go to the next, double crochet, skip this next stitch and go to the top of the bobble and do another shell. And the shell is five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll skip this one, double crochet into the next stitch, skip this one, and do the on top of the bobble, do five double crochets, and we're going to do that all the way to the end, and I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm at the end of 12, and I've done my um, shell, and now I'm going to do one double crochet in this last stitch, because we skipped, we skipped one here. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work, and we still have a total of 42 shells, and um, now we're starting on row 13, and like I said, this row is going to be like the other row. The only difference is when we get to this post, we're on the front of our work now, and so we're going to do a double crochet into this first post and then we're going to skip two and go to the middle of the shell and we're going to do five double crochets just like we did on the last row and once you get the five double crochets one, two, three, four, five, you've got your shell. Now, this time, on this row, we're going to do a double front post because we're on the front, so we're going to go through the front and do a double crochet, and this is called a front post double crochet, and see how the line looks here. Okay, now we're going to skip two on the shell, go to the middle, and do another five post or excuse me five double crochet to make a shell <coughs> and when you get this shell done you're going to go to the next post <laughs> And you're going to do a front post double crochet and that's in the front this time and it's just like the last time we did the post in the back the back post and when you get to the front it's a front post and the reason the way you know is if your your line shows here and then like I said you skip two, go to the middle of your shell and do five double crochets and and this is I messed up right there so let's see you go one <coughs> two three four, five, and then you'll, you'll do your five post shell or double crochet, and then you're going to do the front post in this post here, front post, and you're going to keep doing this all the way across, and when you get to the end, Remember, we'll do a double crochet, and then what we're going to do is the, the next round will be on the back, 
and we'll do the shell and the the back post and then the shell and the back post and then when you get back to the front you'll do the shell and the front post so anyway this is going to be the way the cape is going to be throughout you're going to just do 12 and 13 over and over um this same shell thing here you're going to do it all the way to, until you get it the length that you want and some people might want it long some people might want it short shorter at uh, you know like a poncho length but just keep going until you like the length that you got it and then I'll keep going keep on working doing these rows and then I'll show you how we do the the um, the hat part or the cap part of the cape and I'll meet you back thank you I'm at the top starting on the hood of the cape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here at the top of where the collar is and I'm going to go through this chain or loop and then I'm just going to grab up a loop and take the long tail and chain one and and do a double crochet in that stitch like this and now in each stitch I'm going to do a double crochet And this should be a total of 70 chains. So just go into each stitch around and do your double crochets. Like so. And you're just going to do this, and I'm catching this tail right here and just kind of doing, going ahead and double stitching around it, double crocheting around it. But anyway, you're going to go into each stitch all the way around and double crochet. And I'll meet you back when I get to the end. I'm almost at the end of the row of the cape hat or cap and um, all I'm doing is crocheting and I'm almost to the end and you're just going in every stitch and I came out with 70 stitches and uh, then you chain one and then turn again and do another, another double crochet into this loop, this first loop or stitch. And then just keep going and keep doing, and I came out with 70 stitches. And uh, anyway, keep going with your double crochets and you want to just keep working back and forth back and forth with double crochets in every stitch and do that until you get a, probably a total of 23 uh, rows um, make sure I mean you it should come out to that because the lady who created this pattern she said that she had 23 i believe so um just make it to your liking to whatever fits your head but just keep going and that like i said that's what she came out with and just keep going until you get the length that you want 
for your head and then and then what we're going to do is I'll show you how to stitch the top uh, of the cap part okay or the hood thank you okay now I'm getting ready I got the hood part the hood crocheted now I'm going to do I'm going to sew it together but I'm going to do it so what I what I've got here is I've got this is the the outer of the garment okay so this is the right side out and here is the hood and I'm going to bring it together like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch this, okay? So I'm going to bring this around because I finished, I got my 23 rows done. And like I said, I'm going to stitch this together so when I turn it right side out, it will be the right side, okay? But right now, this is the lower part that is, here's the bobbles, okay? So, I'm, I'm sorry, I know this is hard to see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top of this stitch, and I'm going to grab, so I'm going to grab this loop, go into the top of this stitch, into the back of that stitch and I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to go into each each stitch and slip stitch like so and I know it's hard to understand, but the hood, the outer portion of the garment is here. And then, so when I flip it around, it will be, this will be inside. And just keep going across, slip stitching. And it'll look like this. But just keep on going. And just go into each stitch, slip stitch. Like so. And just keep on moving until you get all the way to this end right here, okay? And I'll meet you back. So I'm at the end, and it looks like this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm going to clip this, and I'm going to get my needle, and then... I'm just going to just pull this through like so, tie it off, and then I'm just going to run this back through like so with my needle and thread or stitch it back through like this and that way to reinforce it. Because when I turn this right side out, this is the hood. And see, here is the, the bobbles. And here, and I know y'all can't see this, but there you go. And that's what you do. Okay, so now I'm going to, I've got the garment on the right side out. Here's the bobbles. 
and on the right side of the lower bottom of the cape, which is here, I'm going to um, clear, I'm, I'm going to pull up a loop with the yarn and probably I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to go right about here and here's the tail and I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm just going to start doing single crochets on the outer edge like so and uh, I'm not, I just think this will clean it up a little bit better. So I'm doing three, and then right here, one single crochet, here a single crochet, and then on this edge, three single crochets, and just to kind of make it look finished, kind of like this. So what I'm doing, um, I'm just going in this stitch and then back here again, three where this bigger space is and um, kind of doing it like this. And I'm going to do this all the way up, all the way up here. And this is where the, the, um, the cap part or the hood part and go all the way around to the other side, which is the left side. And I'm going to do that all the way around on this outer edge to kind of clean it up. And it will look like this and and kind of just do what you think like right here I'm just doing I'm not pulling this in I'm just gonna go like maybe do here I probably could do another one and just kind of look at it and see what you think looks nice um, but I'm just kind of doing this just to kind of clean that edge up. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'll meet you back and then I'll show you what kind of closure I'm going to do for the top part of the, um, to where the hood's at. I might use a button. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I'll meet you back. Thanks. Right here, I'm on the hood part, and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going in a stitch and doing a single crochet and another single crochet. Just kind of, I know it's hard to see, but I'm just kind of going in around the hood and doing a single crochet. I just wanted to show y'all this. And then down here, some of the places, um, I did two single crochets. It just kind of looked like whatever space where I felt like it needed, I did three, and some places I did two. So anyway, I don't know really what to tell y'all as far as this, but um, I'm just kind of just looking and doing a little bit in each one and I just wanted to show y'all that okay what I did here is I had these big wooden buttons and so what I did is I got my yarn and I stitched um, I just ran this through the button the the yarn so, and then I just tied it in a knot like this. And, um, 
anyway, and, and I just count it up, just tie the backs off, and then I guess just cut your, cut these off. But then what I did, so what I did is I lined up my bobbles. I lined up my bobbles right here, right here, and then I counted up from this point. So here's my bobbles, and then I lined them up, and then I counted up like one, two, three, four, and then I sewed them three notches over. Or just tied them off and then I made these little loops and what I did is I just attached it on the end and chained like nine and then I single crochet back around and I did the same thing here so that way these could fit over the buttons like this so anyway, that's what I did, and I kind of had these as my little markers. Um, and then what you do after you get your buttons in place and you get your little, then you go ahead and take a needle right here and then just kind of I guess just kind of hide the tails in here. Just tie this inside like this. And then clip it. Like that. And here's some more. And I tied this. Um, and you could tie this off in a knot and hide it. And just kind of weave it through these tails and hide them and that's what I did because uh, these are the only big buttons I really had at the time so anyway so that's what I did and I wanted to show y'all and here's my little hood hi y'all it's Sherry um, I wanted to say I finally got this little cape done and I wanted to shout out to Crystal on Bag of Day, Bag, Bag O Day, I think that's what her channel is called, Bag O Day uh, Crochet, but she, she created this beautiful pattern and anyway, um, go check her out. It's called Bag O Day Crochet. And um, this is her pattern. So I wanted to thank her and I love it. I'm excited that I got it done. So anyway, I'm going to do the tutorial too, kind of like how she taught, showed everyone. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you. And thank you, Crystal.